watch it guys today we're taking a look at how to make windows 11 better with winero tweaker now winero tweaker is a free tweaking tool so you can tweak to your art's content on windows 10 and windows 11 and other previous versions of windows as well as it lists on their site it's packed with features and it's a pretty good tool for customizing windows to get it to exactly how you like it without going into the registry and going into other complicated areas of the operating system you can do it all from this user interface so what i'm going to do here is extract the files and put them onto my desktop into a folder and then we can install it from there so let's go ahead and take a look at the actual program here it is here it's a very small program there is a batch file here to do a silent uh, setup if you wish but we're just going to go through the motions here and run this anyway on this system and uh, once this is installed we'll be able to tweak our operating system so it's pretty straightforward you can either use it in portable mode so if you don't want to install anything you can set up portable mode right here i'm just going to go normal mode and get this all set up and running so let's go through the motions here and click next next and next again and again you guessed it next again and then install and then run the program but before we do that let's have a quick word from today's sponsor cd key sales if you're looking for a cheap windows 10 pro oem key then check out the links in the video description click on one of those it will take you to CD Key Sales. You can create yourself a user account, then choose your product, what you want to buy. Click on the buy now, and in the promotion code, put in my capital B, capital R09, and apply this to your order, and you should see a nice juicy discount there of about 30%. That will bring the price down. Click the buy now button, and then head over to the activation center in your chosen Windows operating system, and click activate, and it will activate your version of Windows. So back to Winero Tweaker, as you can see here, we're starting off with the system information. This will give you the information of the system, what CPU you've got, what RAM and what display and all that sort of good stuff. We do have a manage bookmarks here for your browser bookmarks. We're going to skip that and move on to Windows 11 where we can do uh, the classic menu, context menu. You can do the classic taskbar, disable background apps and a bunch of other things inside this area here. Once you've made your selection by putting a check mark in, you can restart Explorer or you can do this later after you've done all your changes. So go through and make all of your useful changes on your Windows 11 system. You can see here we've got the classic taskbar here. If you want to enable that feature, just put the check mark inside here and it will allow you to enable it. Disable background apps. You can go ahead. I've already got mine disabled as I've run this program before, but you can put your check mark in here and it will disable all those background apps for you. Great if you're a little gamer on a little low budget system. We can also see here remove Windows Spotlight desktop icon. We also have some other useful ones like taskbar size. This is going to allow you to change the taskbar size from normal to large to small to system default, whatever you want to set yours to. And you can also uh, set inside here the taskbar tray icon row number. And you just go in here and select this two rows, three rows, and so on. You'll notice on all of these little tweaks, there's going to be a little description area where you can read it and tell you what exactly it does. Moving on to the appearance section here, the appearance will allow you to change the color title bars and a bunch of other things on here. You can move on to the advanced appearance settings here, and this will allow you to change the icon size and things like that, the spacing and, and other little tweaks like that as well. We've got the menu section and a bunch of other ones here we can uh, change here for smaller or larger menus depending on how you want to adjust yours it's pretty straightforward once you've done this you can click on the apply changes and it will make changes uh, to that you can also change the font as well in that section moving on further down we do have some other things here like the behavioral side of things which is going to be able to control uh, whether you want them to push ads to you and you can block all of these by just check marking these. Automatic registry backups, another useful little feature of Winero. And we also have some other useful ones like default action for shutdown dialog, disable aero shake, and also disable aero snap. Also, some other useful ones if you are on multi uh, monitors where you can disable these aero snap and aero shake and things like that. Now we also have some other useful ones in here. I'm not going to cover every single one of them because there's absolutely a ton of them here, but we do have some really useful ones like disable uh, the downloads blockage. You can disable this. Now the blockage will stop 
uh, files from coming down because of the security side of things. And some people find that a bit of a, a nuisance. So you can disable that feature. I wouldn't advise you doing it just in case it's something malicious you're downloading. The other one is disabled driver updates, which can help if Microsoft is forcing you know, drivers on you that are not compatible and it's causing a reboot loop or something like that, you can disable that feature right here. Now, they do have some other things here like disable smart screen, which again, I don't like disabling because it is a security feature that does protect you. But it also nags a lot of people, especially gamers. But if you want to keep that feature on, I'd leave that alone. Again, disable uh, timeline and disable Windows updates. It says it all right there. If you're one of those people that like to disable your updates, you can do it right here by putting a check mark in this and basically sign out the PC and sign back in. You also got this little reset page to default section up on every section. So if you want to go back, you just push that reset to defaults and it will all go back to default settings. There's a bunch of other ones inside here like error reporting and enable other things like crash and control delete and screen lock and things like that. You can set all that inside here as well. We've got key thumbnail cache, hibernation options inside here. So if you want to disable all that sort of stuff or enable it, you can do. Uh, again, we've got plenty of decent other tweaks on here. I'm not going to cover every single one of them, but one of the good ones I think here is the power throttling. And it tells you all about what power throttling is. And as the title suggests, power throttling, throttling means slowing down and basically throttling the CPU. So you can see there is a setting here for you to disable the power throttling if you wish. And uh, you can read that little description. I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but basically it's pretty self-explanatory once you read that. And if you want to disable it, you just put a check mark in it. Again, we can come down the order here. There's a bunch of other stuff here restore point frequency and a bunch of other things in here which could be useful. I can also see on here USB write protection and another one there which is quite useful Windows installer in safe mode. That's quite useful as well. And you can enable these features by again putting the check mark into these and it will enable these features. So pretty good. Moving on down to the boot and log on. And again, there's a bunch of stuff inside here which is quite useful. Uh, auto repair and boot and we also have another one here uh, boot options so you can change your boot options inside here if you want to again be very careful when you're messing around with some of this stuff if you don't understand it then leave it well alone you might want to create a system restore point before doing all these tweaks just in case you forget what you've check marked but remember you do have that reset to uh, a page defaults as well and it will go back to the default settings and again, we do have a bunch of other stuff on here, which is on the desktop and taskbar here, uh, which you can mess around with, which is to do with your battery. And you've got some other ones here like balloon tool tips. And I can also see disable web search. And uh, there's another one here, old volume control. You can enable that feature if you wish. Open last active window. And there's a bunch of other stuff on here, like uh, enable the uh, transparency level for the taskbar. Uh, wallpaper quality and some other useful ones inside there. Now moving on down to uh, this next area, which is the taskbar thumbnails. You can change all of this here inside here. There's a bunch of sliders in here you can mess around with, which can be quite useful uh, to some people if you want more control over that area. Another area we're looking at here is the context menu. Again, this is so many tweaks in here. You can add so much stuff to your context menu. We need to do is put the check marks in the stuff you want to add to your context menu. And this will be on your right click context menu. And you can see there's bunches of stuff inside here. Control panel. I'm not going to go through all of these, but I'll just quickly check mark a bunch of these and show you what it looks like once that's done, because there is quite a lot. I can see, see also kill non-responding tasks, uh, reset your group policy. And there's a bunch of other good stuff on here, like control panel default apps, encryption, there's loads of stuff. So I'll get that set and I'll show you what it looks like. So I've added a bunch of these here. Just gonna add a few more here uh, to this. Inherit permissions and firewall uh, context menu and uh, personalization here. We can add this in as well. This is gonna add some nice little sub uh, menus on the actual context menu. I'll quickly show you here. I'm not sure if you can see that on the side. I'll show you at the end. There you go. And it's added a bunch of useful stuff on your right click context menu. So quite a useful little tool if you want to get full 
uh, experience from your context menu. I do use that quite a bit and it can be quite useful. So again, we're just going to go through a few more here. Appearance here, I can see there's a bunch of other stuff. Let me come all the way down to the bottom. And this is to do with some of your other settings. So this is where we was. And again, open bash here. If you want to open bash here, you can add that to your menu. Also local group policy as well. Open that up. If you've got a Windows 10 Pro or Windows 11 Pro, that will come in pre-installed, which is very useful as well. So if you're looking for one tool that allows you to customize Windows 11 or Windows 10, then the Winero uh, Tweaker is a pretty decent tool to have. You can see it's got some really useful functionality on here. It allows you to reset certain things and also allows you to tweak certain things. And it's all undoable by clicking on the reset uh, this page item and it will put it back to default settings. So really useful for people that just want to dabble a little bit and get it exactly how they want it. Anyway, I'll leave the link in the video description for you to check it out. It is pretty awesome and it does some really useful functionality for Windows 10 and Windows 11. And uh, again, if you'd like to make a few minor adjustments to your system, that tool has it all in one. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the very next video. Bye for now.